Hello everyone and welcome back to Digital Mind Podcast. I still remain your host and the person of Storyteller. And today we'll be, we'll be begging our groomsmen and our bride's train, our community, all those people that are meant to complement the wedding story. Ah, okay. Wedding story is actually when the husband and the wife agree to give the same ring and live happily ever after. Good for them. So they call a storyteller to come and storytell. So these good men, at that time we go they see you for where they serve. Or you go they do one place. No, that is not where you are meant to be. Especially all our women ladies too that are meant to actually snap pictures with the bride, you know, after our preparation. At that time you go they say you won't go bath. At that time, you say with a fine sponge, you get fine highbrow. You know, they say my makeup will never reach my tongue. It never reach my tongue. You don't know the kind of work we're going to do. And you, why can't you know how to make up yourself in this 21st century? Now, no, no, say makeup don't cost. Okay, don't worry, Sha. But initially, why we you have a one makeup artist for a wedding story that is still going to make up for the bride? And you know, why now? Why? Because at that time, these people have actually booked a lovely hotel with nice ambience for us to, to retell the bride, the groom, and the trains, and you guys. But we are nowhere to be fine. And at that time, now go they sneak for reception one after the other. It is not nice. You are meant to actually beautify and you know, compliment the wedding story. Your faces are so nice and they love you. That's why they're actually putting you in the train. So most times, always try to make yourself available, plan yourself, prepare, and as they are going out to the church, follow them out, let's snap you, let's see you. They, they need your support, they need your love. That is why you are on the train, especially for picture and video sake, so that you can actually have more dramas and more vibes to their day. And also for the reception part, some of them say it is that time they put you, say you come and dance, enter, you say you cannot dance. You cannot, I don't know why you cannot dance, okay? Where you have actually spent a lot of money to buy dress and to join their stuff when you are supposed to give in your vibes to sell yourself, to even sell yourself, whether you kiss your husband around with the look, you say, ah, this girl is a bit dancing, maybe whether they will like you, at <laughs> least okay. If it's not, everybody will like you at least you see somebody to actually like you but at that time you say you can you cannot dance or be working majestically you are meant to complement the wedding story so most times just try and those bright too when you are selecting friends to select your know, friends select the ones that are reasonable and disciplined it's not that you tell them to do something and they will not be able to do that wedding story is so important to us because by the time we work with people that are compliance, it will actually make the story so lovely. It's not as if we are trying to point finger at anybody, but when we actually know what we are supposed to do, it will make the work very easier for us. For us. So we have come to the end of this section, and this is a video that is actually begging. That's why I say it's a begging video. Our groomsmen and our bride train to help us complement this wedding story better so that we can have lovely pictures, lovely union, lovely memory for our couples. God bless you. Like and share. I'll see you in the next episode.